Welcome to Embedded World 2023. I'm Brandon Lewis, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design. I'm here with Jessica Isbitt, who is President of PICMIG. How are you doing, Jessica? Very good. Glad to be here. It's a very exciting time for PICMIG. It definitely is. I know that last year, 2022, mm -hmm. lots of specification activity, lots of releases coming out of PICMIG. Yes. Uh, do you want to go over a couple of those and then what we can expect maybe here at the show and then okay. moving forward? Yeah, towards the end of 2022, we released a revision of COMHPC. Uh, and then also Com Express 3.1, which is kind of bringing that up to date, PCIe Gen 4, a number of other features. So Com Express is very much alive. Uh, Com HPC continues to evolve. Uh, the Fusil is introduced, a couple other minor updates, uh, but the team's been actively working on the next revision, which we plan to go into what we call member review uh, within about a month, so in Q2. So, and not a lot of people have been using the term COMHPC Mini. Right. Uh, that's the 1.2 spec, and the team is really close to bringing it out for review. So, I expect that announcement happening mid to end of Q2. Um, in addition to that, we have a number of other ongoing initiatives, as always in PICMIG. Uh, so, the Micro TCA team is working on their next generation so that they can handle PCIe Gen 4 as well. There's a theme going on here. Yeah. Uh, they're the compact PCI serial folk are doing the same. Each of those specs have evolved well over a decade, um, but they're going to start to hit a point in terms of some of the higher speeds requirements. So we foresee them being valid active specs for years and years to come. But then there's the undercurrent of things that require PCIe Gen 5, other I.O., different aspects, uh, and also a variety of different processors. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a lot of expansion, higher speed coming out. One thing we haven't mentioned at all publicly is a new initiative that we're calling the Far Edge. And that has come to us from a new community uh, from the energy sector. So a number of companies are dealing with far edge. Think about the computing required on an oil rig to make it autonomous and some other um, really rugged environments that haven't really had a big technology upgrade in decades and mostly proprietary solutions. So that standard, standardization effort is quite active at the moment. I'm going to run out of time before I say all of our initiatives because we also have ModBlock 7 which mm -hmm. is bringing standardization to the industrial PC market, which is somewhat ubiquitous, um, hundreds of manufacturers, but they've nev there's never been a standard that would allow all the things that are fundamental to PICMIG, modular, um, interoperable. And so we have over 15 vendors working on that. And that's on display here with a number of PICMIG members, uh, as well as in the PICMIG booth, which is in Hall 3. Uh, another great fact is there's over, over 50 PICMIG members exhibiting here. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get a sense of any of the specifications I just mentioned, it's a wonderful opportunity. And if you stop by booth Hall 1, booth 500, you can pick up kind of a program to see where all of those members are. And for a little more in-depth information, you could come to one of these sessions tomorrow. <laughs> so we've got ModBlocks panel discussion at 2 tomorrow right here, followed by Micro TCA, and then followed up at 4 o'clock with COMHPC. So that combined with many floor presentations and other events going on, I think this is the week to really come up to speed on any and all PICMIG standards and specifications. Well, that might have been the easiest <laughs> the easiest interview I ever did. So stop by Embedded World booth, uh, Hall 1, booth 500. That's Embedded Computing Design, but you'll also be able to see some of the things that Picnic has going on this year at the show.